There you go. What's up, Yak? Unmute you real quick. Got you go. got you. Yeah, I got you, man. If you can move the camera just a little bit back. Uh, it's a little zoomed in. There you go. Yeah, that works right there. Perfect. Thanks for jumping on with us, man. Media, thank you all for being here. Uh, we'll get right into it so we don't take up too much of your guys' night. Uh, why don't you kick us off, Jeff McDonald, uh, Express News. Go ahead, Jeff. Hey, Yak. Um, congratulations and welcome back and all that. Um, just first of all, just your, your, your thoughts on that, on, um, you know, getting the contract and coming back to the Spurs. Um, I'm super excited. Uh, it's my first free agency. I was a little nervous getting like, going into it. Uh, but it, uh, even though it was a, a stressful time, I'm, I'm really excited about the outcome. And yeah, uh, I think I, I got a good deal from the Spurs. So I decided to take it. I really enjoyed my past two years here. And I've I think we can build on that. So I decided it'd be a good a good move for myself to to extend it and stay here for another three years. Um, the you know the, the Spurs could have extended you last fall, but going into the season, but did not. Um, how did you approach that um, throughout the season, knowing that you'd be a free agent uh, coming up? Um, I wouldn't say it, it changed my approach too much. Obviously, I knew my contract was up, so I was I was trying to like do my best to to show off what I can do, but that really doesn't differ from like any other season too much. So um, I think what, um, what is like my, my biggest value as a player is like the fact that I can help teams win with in, in a lot of different ways. So I think I was more or less doing the same things I was trying to do my whole career. All right. Appreciate it. Thanks, Jeff. We'll kick it to Ken's five, Tom Petrini. Go ahead, Tom. How's it going? Yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Um, so you mentioned it's a three-year deal. I know that you had kind of talked a little bit last year about uh, being comfortable with a bigger role. Do you think that there's room for you to grow into a starting role with this team moving forward? Maybe not this year, but as your contract goes forward. Yes, I, I definitely think so. I mean, that's my that's my uh, short-term goal here is to like grow my role and, and grow into a starting role. And I think um, what we did in the bubble was kind of the, the first signs of that, of like a very young team that where a lot of young players had to share more responsibilities that, than we were maybe used to during the regular season. Um, so that's definitely what I'm, what I'm trying to do and, and where I'm trying to get to in the, in the near future. Now, when the contract negotiations were happening and, you know, that being a goal of yours, was there anything that the team said to you, you know, if you, if you keep up what you did in the bubble and do this, this, and this, you know, we can see a, a bigger role for you. Is it expanding an outside shot or is it dunking more and, and focusing on what you already do best in the middle of the floor? Um, I don't want to go into too much detail, but um, there, there was some conversations about my role and, and how, the team was going to look in in the, the future um, for sure because that is uh, that was a big part of my decision as well. I wanted to be on a team where I felt comfortable, where I I knew I, I would um, get along and play well uh, alongside my teammates. So um, that was definitely part of the conversation. Thanks, Tom. We'll go to Anya from Spurs.com. Go ahead, Anya. Hey, uh, hey, y'all. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, congrats on signing. You talked about the young core and being a part of that and kind of changing roles in the bubble. Knowing that you are a part of that young core and um, growing with them as well as yourself, how does that make you feel signing for another couple of years here? Um, makes me feel good. Um, I think, uh, like I said earlier, it's, uh, it's an opportunity to build on something um, that has shown a lot of potential, at least in, in okay. my eyes. Um, so, yeah, um, it's going to take some time. Uh, we're, we're all aware of that. And it's, um, it's going to take a, a lot of minutes of experience on the court because it is um, uh, a totally different game when you, um, when you uh, have to jump into a different role like that. So, uh, yeah, I, I think we're, we're definitely up for the challenge. Is there anything specific that you like or, or how you mesh well with this group? Um, you talked about the stuff you brought, but how does that uh, mesh into the other young guys? 
I mean, there's like the, the cool thing about this group is that um, every single individual, like um, I could talk about uh, DJ or Kelden or Derek or I don't know who not, like we all bring something different to the, to the table. And, and I think um, what makes us great is that we mesh very well together. So um, yeah, it's, it's hard to like pick out a, a couple um, like specific things that, that work well because I think the uh, one of our biggest strengths is like I said that we we all bring st different stuff to the table like we all understand our roles and we all are very hungry to to expand that and and go go further and, and, and get better as a team. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks Anya. We'll go to uh, Hector Ledesma Sports tonight. Go ahead Heck. Yeah congratulations man. Thank you. Hey, wanted to ask you, you said a little while ago about how it was a little bit nerve wracking going into free agency for the first time. Is it fair to ask you from the get go, you were thinking the Spurs were the priority? I mean, was was coming back number one or were you going to sit back and look at everything and then decide what the focus was going to be in terms of your first priority? Uh, it's hard to say. I didn't I didn't really have a priority. I was I was definitely going into it. Um, knowing that um, the Spurs were a very good uh, opportunity for me because like I said earlier, like um, I felt like the past two years were, were very successful for me and I really enjoyed being here. But I, I try to go into um, free agency with an open mind and just like see what the Spurs would offer me, what maybe some other possibilities are. Um, at the end of the day, I just made a pretty quick decision because what was on the table from the Spurs and, and the opportunities I... I thought I could get in the, in the future and the whole package was just, I felt like was right for me. So it, it didn't really come to a whole lot of other options, but I was definitely trying to go into it with a, with an open mindset to just see, see what's available. Thanks. Thank Heck. We'll go to uh, Jeff Garcia from WOAI. Go ahead, Jeff. Thank you. How are you doing, Jakob? Doing good. How are you? I'm doing good. Um, you know, when LaMarcus Aldridge did not play uh, out in the bubble, you know, you took that as a personal challenge for yourself. How would you assess your play out in the bubble and how do you think that will carry over into the new season? Um, I think for me personally, I was, um, there was some ups and downs for sure. Um, I was, I was happy with my performance for, for um, a lot of the games. I think there was definitely some, um, growing experiences for me where, where I was struggling still a little bit with the, with the added minutes. Like, for example, there was uh, the foul trouble, me just not being used to having to play a lot more minutes and, and trying to, like, um, pick my spots where I could be more aggressive on defense. Um, the, all, all those things are um, – it's, it's kind of where um, I think the experience will, will come in. Like, as, as soon as I, I get more reps in a, in a bigger role like that, um, I'll – get more and more used to it so um i think overall um i'm pretty happy with with my and our performance but there was definitely plenty of um uh moments and games that uh, i would like back and and i think i could do a lot better on um with like i said more experience and more time in, in that role thank you sir we'll go back to jeff mcdonald express news go ahead Hey, yeah, uh, obviously you you came here two years ago in a trade. It was it was sort of a, a, against your will, so to speak. I'm just wondering if you can recall um, what 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 you were thinking at that point, what you thought of San Antonio at that point, and if if at that point this was a place that you thought you would be long term. Um, I mean, my my initial reaction was probably like I, I was a little disappointed because um, yeah, it's 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 not fun, like you said more or less against your will, just getting sent to a different team. Um, and then as soon as I got over that initial feeling and I could like look at the, my new team and, and the new possibilities more obje objectively, it, it got better and better. And I think even over over the two years, I, I, I didn't know too much about the team here in San Antonio. I obviously I knew about the, the legacy and, and about Pop and, and uh, the success this, this team has had over the, over the past years. but. I, I didn't really know any of the players personally or anything like that. So um, I, I went into it and I, I got um, welcomed with, um, yeah, by, by great teammates. And, and like I said, it's a, a really cool two years. So I think now looking back at those past two years, um, it was definitely um, uh, a, a fun ride. 
Well, thank you very much. Let's go to Bruno with Finding the Rock. Go ahead, Bruno. Hey, Jakob. Um, mm -hmm. as, as you were kind of going about this, um, you know, deliberation and, and kind of thinking about what your next steps would be, were were you hearing much from like your teammates, some of the the other young guys? And um, can you speak at all to kind of like were they were they were they kind of trying to convince you to stay? Like, what was that back and forth? And um, you know, who who did you kind of let know first uh, that you were that you'll be you'd, you'd be sticking around? Um. I mean, there there was some conversations going on um, over the summer, obviously, with with my teammates. It, it wasn't too much about um, about business. Like we we kind of um, kind of kept that be like to ourselves, I guess, more or less. Um, I, I did have some conversations with, with Derek, for example, like about um, upcoming years and and what could could be and what what, what we could do together. Um, but like I said, I think for the most part, that was a decision for me and my family and, and my, my circle, my close circle. Um, so that, it wasn't too much uh, um, us trying to get each other to stay or like trying to um, plan, plan our future or anything like that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Bruno. Uh, we got one more from Tom Petrini at Ken's Five. Go ahead, Tom. You'll wrap us up. You kind of mentioned there talking about what comes next with your teammates. Um, you know, you as sort of the the big long center in this lineup with a whole bunch of rangy guards and wings around you. What do you guys think that you can achieve on the court, especially defensively? Um, I mean, I think the 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 sky's the limit for us, and I think we have we have a lot of guys in that in that young unit that are. Um, not only able, but also like willing to to go out there and guard and, and um, work together on, on defense. And I think our, our defense was was one of our biggest improvements in the bubble compared to what we show, showed during the regular season. Um, so I think having guys out there that, like I said, are not only willing to put in the work, but also um, yeah, almost take it personal if if we get scored on, like make it make it a big deal to to get stops on defense. I think that's a that's a big part, and that's like one of the the main like pillars that you need for a good defensive team. Thanks, Jacques. We appreciate you jumping on with us on a on a Tuesday night, and excited to have you back in San Antonio. You'll, you'll see all these guys soon because we'll be in training camp in about <laughs> ten days. So we'll see you we'll soon. See. Thanks, Jacques. Sounds good. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Appreciate right. you all jumping Thanks, on. Uh, Appreciate it. Get the video out as soon as we can. Flipped around for tonight. Uh,